Hey guys, let me show you one of my favorite physical modeling synths. It's called Serum. Now, I know what you're thinking. It must be a joke because uh, Serum is a wavetable synthesizer doubling as an excellent subtractive synth, right? We have filters. Uh, it is also a fantastic additive synthesizer. It can do a little bit of FM, um, you know, maybe a rudimentary sampler. And if you're stubborn enough, you can even try West Coast Synthesis because we have foldback, we have something resembling LPG. But physical modeling, according to Wikipedia, has something to do with, uh, you know, mathematical models and equations, algorithms, simulating physical source. Oh, and laws of physics. Uh, so yeah, clearly it looks like you would need a specialized uh, synthesizer for, for all of that. In addition, if you Google physical modeling in Serum, You'll get a lot of articles and videos about physical modeling, but I couldn't find anything about physical modeling in Serum. So you might be inclined to, to believe that Serum is absolutely not suitable for, uh, for this type of synthesis. However, as incredible as it may sound, in Serum we are only 12 clicks away from a fantastic physical modeling engine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We can um, maybe emulate nylon guitar with different picks. with different pick position. We can do um, woodwinds. Pan pipes, anyone? Uh, or some beautiful abstract pads. So, what's going on? How is it possible? All right, so first, let me show you something really, really exciting. Uh, this article, this paper, Digital Synthesis of Plucked String and Drum Timbers, is what started physical modeling in 1983. This is, like, this paper is absolutely legendary. And you might recognize two names here, Carpalus Strong. Nowadays, when people talk about physical modeling, they, they will often use a synonym for, for that type of synthesis. They will say, carpless strong synthesis. So now you know where it all started. So what these two guys figured out is that in order to simulate um, acoustic instruments, you don't necessarily need to uh, simulate uh, laws of physics and build some kind of fancy 3D model you can achieve very convincing uh, and realistic results with something much simpler. And here it is, very simple algorithm. So what they would do is they would inject this, this loop with a burst of noise or uh, impulse. Then this impulse goes through a delay. Now this delay would be very short. So uh, and let's say you, you want to have a frequency of one kilohertz. This delay would be just one millisecond. Then it goes over here. Now you see another delay, but come on, this is just a low pass filter. So like replace that, that these two, two boxes with just low pass filter, like the, the most rudimentary low pass filter. And then this noise keeps going over and over again through the same loop. And after a few hundred or few thousand cycles, this noise becomes sine wave because it loses all, um, you know, all those high frequencies are lost, right? And eventually even the sine wave will decay. Um, and it just happens that this is pretty much very similar to how uh, plucked string instruments will sound to our ears. So yeah, that's, uh, that's how simple it is. And it just happens that this thing, we can do that in Serum. All right, so let's give it a try. Here I have a fully initialized synth. 
I'm going to turn off this oscillator A and instead I will turn on this noise engine, which is actually a sampler. I'm going to load one of those kick samples and um, let's activate one shot mode. And this is all we need for now, this short burst of noise. And now we need to look for that Karplus strong algorithm. Remember, it's just the delay, uh, you know, with the low pass filter within this feedback loop. And it just happens that we have something like this here. It's a delay and it has a filter. It's low pass, band pass, high pass, whatever you need. Uh, it's not perfect, but I'm going to show you why it's not suitable for uh, fully flexible uh, Karplus strong in Serum. Uh, let's crank up this feedback, pa yeah, feedback amount. We'll link these two channels. And here we go. Officially, this is car plus strong now. You can get really interesting sounds and remember in Serum everything, you can modulate everything from LFOs and envelopes. So it's, uh, it might be very usable, but there, there's a problem with tracking. In order to play uh, different melodies here, you need to somehow connect keyboard to this, um, this delay line time. And you could try doing something like this. Um, if you're stubborn enough, you can tune one octave fairly well, but it falls apart if you move out from that center register. And this delay is simply not good enough. It's just, you know, it's, it's basic carplus strong, but it's not fully usable. So we need to find a better delay. And you might be like, hey, this is crazy. We don't have better delay in Serum. How can we, how can we do carplus strong if this is our only delay? Well, here's the thing. There is another delay in Serum. And uh, it's a secret delay. It hides under a uh, filter section yeah, over here. You see comb filter. Um, comb filter L6 is actually a delay within low pass filter 6 dB per octave uh, in this feedback loop. And you can quickly verify that if you route that noise um, through this filter, and we are going to tune it to the lowest possible frequency, we'll, we're going to crank up this resonance, which is technically a feedback uh, amount in, you know, just like, uh, yeah, this is, this is pretty much resonance, resonance feedback is the same now. And uh, open this filter, right? This is clearly a delay. But as soon as we move here, <laughs> here we have, here we go. Car plus strong. So this is the same as, as this delay over here with one uh, exception, which is we have keyboard tracking already provided. And here we go, car plus strong engine, very simple to use. All you need to do is adjust this low pass uh, frequency for different kind of material. Uh, you can also use this pan to spread it in stereo a little bit. Resonance I usually keep on 100%. And there are also two kind of settings you can you can use. This L6 minus is um, with uh, is basically also a delay line with low pass filter plus inverter. There, every time that this impulse goes through the feedback loop, it, the phase gets inverted. So as a result, you get a sound that is octave lower and and has only uh, on harmonics. Very very nice very usable. And then on, on this side, what you tweak is load different samples and adjust pitch. And that's pretty much all you need. Uh, in addition, you can try if you go into uh, loop mode and f uh, get one of those textures, um, you know, you can experiment with all that. Uh, let's try this. This is really nice. Check this out. Thank you. 
And finally, wrapping up, uh, I have some examples. So the first one. First of all, notice that I'm not using this noise engine at all. In this example, I'm using oscillators tuned very low and with pitch tracking disabled uh, as impulse generators. So this is how it sounds without comb filter. And in addition, um, with this LFO, I'm modulating tuning and volume to give that bouncing ball or bouncing coin or bouncing object on the string effect. And uh, on top of that, I have a bit of chaos to, to add that randomness. Now, moving on. Second example. It's a similar idea, but this time, this time I actually t I, I tune these two oscillators in a very specific ratio. They're in relationship of perfect fifth. So you get a hemiola. Um, example three. So this is kind of a, you know, guitar-like instrument. But listen carefully when I release the note. There's this extra sound as if uh, the player mutes the string. So I achieved that by um, using Envelope 2 to animate um, LP frequency. Um, and in addition, I added some resonances here using um, another car plus strong engine here and here plus EQ. So that adds that body of the instrument. Uh, let me show you how it sounds without. And with. And finally, um, this is just a, you know, abstract pad. I animate uh, that, that pitch a little bit to, to get that kind of a filter sweep effect. And, you know, reverb and traditional delay. This time it's not a car plus strong. Thanks for watching, and that's uh, that's it for today.